Okay, Bandit level 19 to level 20. So the level goal is to gain access to the next level, you should use the set UID binary in the home directory. Execute it without arguments to find out how to use it, and the password for this level can be found in the usual place, etsy slash bandit pass, after you have used the set UID binary. So we have this helpful reading material about set UIDs on Wikipedia, um, and I'll sort of try and give you a brief brief overview as usual. So let's have a look. Let's look in this in our home directory. We've got bandit20 hyphen do. So if we look at this, what this file is, we can see that it's a set UID. Loads more information but, but essentially what we need to think about or what we need to worry about is that it's a set UID file. Um, as you can see it's sort of highlighted differently because of that fact. And what's even more interesting is if we do the long, the long format of the ls command, we have the permissions, right? Now, we have execute on the bandit19 group, which we are a part of, so we have execute permissions for this, um, and read, sorry, read, read permissions as well for bandit20 um, do, or do. But what's more interesting is that the owner, Bandit20, has read, write, and s. So instead of an x for execute, or executable here, we have an s. Now the s stands for the, is the set UID sort of sticky bit, I think it's referred to as. What this means is that this program's set UID, and when you run it, whoever runs it, inherits the same permissions as the owner. So essentially whilst this whilst you, when you execute this program you are essentially bandit 20 um, whilst that program is running or like within that program. So people might ask well why the heck would you ever have um, this sort of setup? Um, and you, you need it quite frequently, right? There's 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 times where you need to have different permissions than what you already have. Like say if you're changing your password for instance the password um, command like this you know to change your password you have to edit the um, Etsy shadow file and that's owned by root uh, that the root is the only one who can edit that so to change your password and for it not to be like some ridiculous hassle you need to temporarily have root privileges so that you can edit that password file and that is what or the shadow file sorry and so that password command is a set UID f um, you know executable that, that grants you root permissions um, just for that that particular command so now the problem is though is that you this has to be handled really carefully you can't just go around making um, loads of set UID f uh, programs because or scripts because um, they can be exploited really easily and I guess this uh, b this level, and I, I think there might be a few more, I'm not sure, um, are going to sort of highlight the importance of uh, the security of these particular files. So in here it, it wants us to um, execute it without arguments to find out how to use this, this, um, this file. So let's, let's do that. Oh. Uh, we're going to say we want to access something in this directory like this and it says run a command as another user example um, dot slash bandit 20 hyphen do id and if we do that let's let's just follow suit here and do that it's saying that we're like sort of currently bandit 20 okay um, if I even better if I was to say um, who am I it would say bandit20 yeah who am I just gives us the name of the user we're currently at so for that short per period of time we were bandit20 essentially um, or at least when we were running that command so this gives us a very easy way to uh, access the password for bandit20 since all the passwords are stored in this Etsy bandit pass directory where 
only the user um, you know like bandit 20 has read permissions on the bandit 20 file in this bandit pass directory whereas bandit 19 doesn't have read permissions on that file we can just run cat of etsy bandit pass bandit 20 because we're technically bandit 20 when we're running this command and there you go it spits us out the password so you can see you'd have to be super super careful when you're running when you're making these sorts of scripts and there's quite a few sort of challenge websites where you have to sort of um, take advantage of the misconfiguration or the sort of lack of appreciation of security on these particular types of file okay that's enough of me rambling and trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about I at least know how, what I'm talking about to an extent where I can um, attack these sorts of um, problems <laughs> okay I'll see you in the next one